Hi. Yes, TikTok influencer. I'm just calling to let you know that I'm gonna be reacting to some dumb stuff that I saw you saying on a TikTok. Yeah, I'm making a YouTube video. Uh-huh. Yeah, no, I don't normally reach out to people. Yeah, I never do. Yeah, no one's had a problem with it before until that one time. Uh-huh. So yeah, I'm just calling you to let you know that I'm gonna react to some dumb stuff that you were saying in this video, okay? Because I find it pretty problematic. Oh, you're not okay with it? Well, I'm doing it anyway. All right, you have a good day now. Hi, yes, other TikTok influencer. So my name is Brianna. I'm a kind of a small YouTuber. And I'm doing a TikTok video reaction today. Uh-huh. Well, I'm just calling to uh, reach out to you first, you know, out of respect, because I'm about to react to uh, some uh, pretty ridiculous and nonsensical things you were saying, kind of in regard to like the health and nutrition space. Yeah, I debunk that kind of stuff. Uh-huh. Oh, okay. Yeah, I don't normally reach out to people, but this one time I didn't and uh, like it made a bunch of people mad. Okay. Oh, you say you don't want me to do it? Well, I'm gonna go ahead and do it anyway. I was really just calling you as a courtesy. All right, you have a good day now. Hello friends and welcome back to the Lemonade Stand or welcome if you are new. My name is Brianna. I'm a certified personal trainer, a big huge biology nerd and a hashtag registered dietitian to be. We are gathered here today for another blind reaction video. Getting kind of unhinged over here. Just a little bit though. Uh, and we're gonna be reacting to ridiculous health, wellness, science, weight loss kind of TikTok fads. There is no shortage of that stuff on TikTok, believe you me. So uh, yeah, that's what we're doing today. Before we proceed, if you love science-based health, wellness, and fitness education with some lols and some dry sarcasm on the way, hit that subscribe button and join the Lemonade Stand. I would truly love to have you here. Without anything further, let's make lemonade. Alrighty, so I mentioned this is a unscripted TikTok reaction video. I didn't say it was unscripted, but it is unscripted. I didn't even script my intro just now. I've been saying it for like three years though, so I haven't memorized. Anyway, yeah, so I have like seven TikTok videos here. All of them have substantial views. This one actually has one point. Oh man, this one that we're gonna look at has almost 2 million views. That's crazy. And they all have to do with like things that I talk about regularly on my channel, you know, nutrition science, weight loss, wellness hacks and just stuff like that. So yeah, uh, we're just gonna take a look at some of these and I'm just gonna react to them. Full disclosure, I have watched them all, but not recently. I actually only watched them when I compiled them last week. Um, so yeah, let's see what happens. Let's see what we come up with. Does anybody else do this when they feel like they're coming down with something? I take a raw piece of garlic and I just eat it. It's like the nastiest thing ever and it's so strong. Never do it on an empty stomach unless you wanna burn your stomach. But I swear garlic is like the whole, one of the holy grails for killing off like any like sort of illness that's brewing. Same with like the bee. Pro Funny how she kind of self edited herself there. And she said, she started to say garlic's the holy grail, but then she backtracked and was like one of the holy grails. So I wonder what the other holy grails are. Like the bee propolis spray, but like garlic has so many like antibacterial, antiviral properties, like heals wounds, like everything. So whenever I feel like a little funky, like, I came home from dinner and I was like, ooh, my throat's a little like funny. So I'm just gonna eat this piece of garlic as like a dessert. I don't like that. I don't like that. Ooh, it's really spicy and I'm gonna reek of garlic. For oh my God, that is the spiciest like thing. Not spicy, but like strong thing ever. But it works like a charm every single time. Does anybody <laughs> okay, I don't necessarily think this is uh, like bad or harmful, but I do think it's stupid. <laughs> the caption says, raw garlic works like a charm with any illness and helps you fight off anything that they, I'm assuming she meant that might be brewing. And then there's hashtag food is medicine, hashtag garlic, hashtag immune health. Okay, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna say garlic's bad for you. It's not. Garlic is actually a very nutritious herb. Garlic is a, a, is a white vegetable pigment and it is high in the compound. Oh my God, let's see if I can remember this. I think it's, uh, Anthocyanins is what garlic is high in. It's either anthocyanins, anthoxanthins, or zeaxanthin. Actually, I think zea zeaxanthin is uh, purple. Oh my God. <laughs> Whatever it is, I'll put it up on the screen. But yeah, so I'm not gonna say garlic's not nutritious. Garlic is very nutritious. And hello, if you cook and you don't use garlic, what are you doing with your life? Garlic is literally the spice of life. It makes every dish amazing. Now, I don't know about eating it raw when uh, you feel like you're getting sick. I mean, do that if you want to. I mean, nobody's gonna stop you, but I don't, I don't think that it is even one of the holy grails. Whenever I feel like I'm getting sick, I hydrate 
like twice as much as I normally do. I kick up my vitamin C intake from food. So I eat more raw vegetables. I don't take supplements. I'll actually like double up on servings of salad. And then I go to bed early. And then for me, that actually usually helps kick a cold. Like, you know, when you start to feel a cold coming or something like that. For me, that usually stops it in its tracks. Every time actually that's happened to me. Those things always help stop it in its tracks for me. And I don't eat a whole clove of garlic. Um, one of these hashtags is food is medicine. I follow a lot of nutrition professionals who do not like this. Uh, this phrase. And I actually have had professors like recently who still say food is medicine. I think it's both true and not true. Obviously, um, our nutrition has a very big impact on our health. And there are a lot of chronic diseases that are the result of like, not have not eating a great diet. Obviously, nutrition is a big facet of your health. However, I don't think that to say that food is medicine is entirely true because there are a lot of conditions that no matter how much you adjust your diet, they're not getting cured. Your diet just doesn't just won't fix everything. For example, like uh, autoimmune disease, there's so many influencers that swear that they can cure autoimmune disease with a certain diet. The reality of it is, yes, you can adjust your diet to support your health and to support like your endocrine health and to support your hormone health. But if you have an autoimmune disease, there's no diet that is going to cure your autoimmune disease. So in that sense, no, food is not medicine. Yeah, anyway. So um, yeah, that was weird. I mean, I'm not gonna say don't eat raw garlic, but I wouldn't do it. Here's another one. I just watched a TikTok video and this girl said that eating a whole clove of garlic will make you feel better. And I have felt not the best the past three days. So I've got this whole clove of garlic and I'm debating, do I cut it in half or should I just swallow that whole? I'm thinking. Sorry, I didn't mean to save more than one garlic. <laughs> garlic swallowing one but here we are and just swallow it whole like this is like kind of like a large pill that is a bigger than a large pill that's a freaking horse pill don't swallow that whole just put it in your food so i'm gonna do this drink some water and hopefully tomorrow i feel better i can't promise i'll come back with a second video but i'll try so i guess just That was a large garlic. Maybe I'll let you know what happens tomorrow. I, I don't know, what, what, is, what is the point of this? I don't understand why, like why wouldn't you just take some medicine? Like it'd be easier. I feel like than swallowing a whole fucking clove of garlic. I think I, they haven't, no one has said it yet and I haven't come across it, but I think I understand the logic in eating it raw. And that would be because raw fruits and vegetables have more nutrients. The cooking process degrades a lot of the, uh, nutritive qualities in fruits and vegetables. That doesn't mean that once you cook them, they're completely devoid of any nutrients at all, but raw fruits and vegetables have far more nutrients than they do when you uh, cook them. My guess is that's the logic with eating it raw. Also, don't swallow, please don't swallow a whole garlic clove. A whole garlic clove, at least a, a, a good size one especially, you could choke on that. One of my biggest fears is choking on an avocado pit. And I feel like that was a pretty big garlic clove that was like almost the size of an avocado pit. And that's such an irrational fear because I don't just carry an avocado pit around in my mouth, but it's just, leave me alone. Here's another one. I think this one, this one says lose 10 to 20 pounds in the next 30 days. So let's see what she says. If you wanna lose 10 pounds this month, this is what you do. You're gonna fast until lunch. You're gonna skip breakfast and fast all the way until lunch. During that fast, calorie deficit, you're only going to drink water, tea, or black coffee. Also, during that fast, try to get at least 30 to 45 minutes of some sort of exercise, whether you want to go to the gym, go for a walk, do a YouTube video. Once your eating window starts, you're going to focus on high protein foods, high protein, green veggies, and good carbs, such as potatoes and rice. Good carbs. So don't eat carbs that want to commit crimes. Those are bad carbs. If you can do all those things for a whole month, I guarantee you, you'll be at least 10 to 20 pounds down. If you think you can do this for 30 days, I want you to comment down below and share this with a friend. Okay, so this is an intermittent fasting challenge at the end there, the text. This is the one I was saying has almost 2 million views. I mean, all she was really saying was restrict your calories. That is all intermittent fasting is. That's how it works for weight loss. It just 
restricts your calories. Someone asked me before in a question box and a question like a poll I did, not a poll, but like I answered questions on Instagram a, a couple weeks ago. And somebody's like, is intermittent fasting, like, is it worthwhile or is it bullshit? My opinion on intermittent fasting is that I don't think it's bullshit. It's not, I mean, it, there's a lot of people out there who kind of it, eating on a time schedule like that does help them. And I think if it does, then that's great for you. But also it's not a holy grail. It's not a secret sauce. I noticed that people who are into fasting, whether that be intermittent fasting or water fasting, or just, you know, whatever kind of fasting, they swear by it to fix like everything. They swear that it's this secret sauce, this holy grail, this magic thing. And it's really not. There's actually a lot of research that's come out, recent research that's come out that demonstrates that Intermittent fasting specifically is not superior to just eating at a calorie deficit in terms of just speaking in terms of weight loss. Intermittent fasting is not superior. You get the same benefits from just eating at a calorie deficit. I feel like that's a pretty bold claim to say, if you do this, you're gonna lose at least 10 to 20 pounds in 30 days. Maybe it depends on how, on what weight whoever is doing that is starting at. I guarantee if I were to follow those steps, I'm not gonna lose 10 to 20 pounds in, in the next 30 days. Intermittent fasting is not that special. If you wanna do it, great. Right? Good for you. For a lot of people, it helps them. Again, stay on a schedule. I've talked to people like that before, but just know it's really nothing special. Here's another one. This one has almost 50,000 views. That's it. <laughs> the text says, so there's this new ice hack that helps people lose weight fast. If you want, say yes in the comments. Say yes with five S's in the comments. So they don't say anything at all about like what this is. Like there's no one talking and then there's nothing in the uh, caption about what this is. I read through comments and I think based on comments, I think that that's baking soda. I think that they've just added baking soda to water. Let me watch it one more time. Okay, yeah, it looked like baking soda. I saw one comment that said that it was salt, but I don't know, it looks really, really, really fine to be salt. I mean, I guess it could be salt if it were ground into a very, very fine powder. But um, I, to me, it does look more like either baking soda or baking powder. Um, I don't understand how this is supposed to help you lose weight. If you're not restricting your calories, then you're not gonna, you're not gonna lose weight. <laughs> Baking soda, sodium bicarbonate. Let me be sure that baking soda is sodium bicarbonate. Hold on. Yes, I was right. Okay, so baking soda is sodium bicarbonate. I know that it can uh, reduce stomach acid. I know that it has antacid properties and like, you know, it, it's in, um, I think that's part of what, um, what's that metazove? Tums, Tums. I think it's sodium or is it calcium bicarbonate that's in Tums? It's some kind of uh, compound that reduces your stomach acid. I believe it's a base. Is it a base? Let's look it up. Sodium bicarbonate, a base or an acid? Okay, sodium bicarbonate is an acidic salt since it's a, it contains one replaceable hydrogen and reacts with base. Wait a minute, no. This one says it's sodium bicarbonate is a weak base. Well, that would make sense actually because if it's like neutralizing your stomach acid, I'm reading too much into this. See, I have to look these things up. I tell you guys all the time, I studied biology in school. Biology students, biologists period, we are bad at chemistry, okay? So I need to look these things up. I mean, I'm not a biologist. I'm not like working as a biologist. I'm just using that as a general term because I do have a biology degree. Um, I don't know why this would cause weight loss. Um, they don't offer any context whatsoever. They just say, here's a new ice hack. Assuming that is baking soda, we really don't know um, for sure what it is to be to be fair. Even if it's something else, I don't understand how just consuming something like that over ice would result in weight loss. Again, unless you're also eating in a calorie deficit. This is another one of those things that is a hack, but like is not really, it's just an extra step. It could be something else. Like maybe it's like a super mega appetite suppressant. If it is and you're losing weight from it, it's because it's suppressing your appetite, which is resulting in you eating less food, which is resulting in a calorie deficit, which results in weight loss. Are you guys picking up the main theme of what I'm putting down? Here's another one. Three things that actually work if you're trying to lose weight or inflammation. This was me two or three years ago. And as you can tell, I just looked inflamed and like I was like carrying weight. 
She looks exactly the same to me. She did look a little bit bigger in her body. This is another, sorry, we're not that far into this one, but I just want to say this now before I forget. This is another instance of somebody who doesn't understand what inflammation is. Inflammation is a physiological process that occurs throughout our bodies from different types of things. There's acute inflammation, there's chronic inflammation. When you get a paper cut and, you're, and the cut is red and swollen and it hurts, that's inflammation. It's an immune response. Some degree of inflammation is a normal part of just being a carbon-based life form, which we all are. What a lot of these influencers I've seen, what they don't understand is that inflammation is not necessarily something that you can just look at someone and see. It's not like you get stung by a bee in the face and then you're all swollen. Like, yeah, that's acute inflammation right there. She looked at that, I assume that was like her before picture and we're gonna talk about weight loss in this thing. Just looking at her, I don't think inflammation. Okay, maybe you had some extra body fat and you lost body fat from whatever you're about to you know, talk about. She's about to talk about it. But just because you lost weight doesn't mean you reduce your inflammation. It means you lost weight. Inflammation is not something that you can generally just look at somebody and see. Listen to you now, I think my face looks a little bit thinner. My body looks a little bit less inflamed. Now the wild thing is I only actually weigh- She looks like she lost some weight. Five pounds less than I did in that first picture. It is all a decrease of inflammation, which actually changed the way I looked. So here are the- How do you know that? How do you know that it's all a decrease in your inflammation? Inflammation. So here are the top three things I did. First thing is I healed my leaky gut. So much inflammation is in our gut. You need to heal that in order to decrease stress and inflammation in your body and just have a healthy system. I Tip one says heal leaky gut, which- I, I believe, I don't think leaky gut is an official diagnosis. It's one of those buzzwords that influencers say all the time. There is something meant by it, but it's not like, that's not a medical diagnosis. It, so it says using gut powder, not sure what that means, slash colostrum and decreasing stress. Colostrum, like the colostrum that's found in breast milk? Is that a trend? Do I need to look into that? Did this by decreasing stress, by taking colostrum and leaky gut powders. Second thing is I stopped forcing myself to do really hard workouts and I focused on workouts that were going to make me sweat, like hot yoga, walking in the sun, and saunaing. Sweating does amazing things for inflammation. Third thing is I stopped intermittent fasting. Sweat is not an indicator of how hard the workout was. Just because you sweat more doesn't necessarily mean you expended more calories. As I stopped intermittent fasting, I started eating breakfast and I eat three meals a day and I don't really snack. I just focus on having three really great meals. And honestly, I feel great and my body feels great. Oh wow, she stopped intermittent fasting. Oh man, we are just all over the place in this video today. Yeah, I feel like there was a lot of buzzwords in that. I gotta look into that colostrum thing. Is that a thing that people do? Do I need to look into that? Where do you get colostrum? I mean, it's probably not like human colostrum. I mean, I don't know, did she have a baby? I didn't look that deep into the, any of these people. I just saw these and saved them in my TikTok account. By the way, I have a TikTok. Don't bother following me. I don't upload anything at all to it. I only have it strictly for like research and YouTube pur purposes. <laughs> yeah. Here's another one. Y'all, I'd never expect it to be viral because of this. I promise I did it, but I'm gonna answer this question really quick because I'm getting it a lot. All right, so does this work? Honestly, I have the worst time keeping weight off and I do not eat like a bird at all. Hormones, I think. Girl, I get it. So this does actually work. Literally a couple puffs a day and your cravings have gone away. I Literally. You know it sounds too good to be true. I thought it was too good to be true when the brand reached out to me and told me about this. After seeing my story on all the social platforms. I rolled my eyes because she said when the brand reached out to me and told me about this. I assume she has some sort of collaboration with uh, the, this product and that's why she's promoting it. Forms where I struggle with weight loss. But let me tell y'all something. This is the first thing that I found that actually does what it says it's supposed to do. So it's plant-based. There's tons of science and research backing it. And y'all, the, the results and testimonies that I have seen come in. Are There's tons of science and researching backing it. Backing what exactly? This is on the playlist, Weight Loss Vape. I think I just went to her, this person's uh, page and went to that playlist and saved another video, which will be the last one we're gonna watch. But what science is backing Weight Loss Vape? Please. Already. <sighs> It tastes just like lemon too. So it's super discreet. It's not toxic at all. It's plant-based, like I said. So it's actually good for you. I thought vaping was like terrible for you. I thought uh, plenty of research has come out that demonstrated that vaping was actually quite harmful. Maybe it depends on what, what you're vaping. Um, but I, I thought that in general, vaping was pretty bad for your health. No nicotine, no addictive additives. It ships right to your door in three to five business days. And I promise you, as soon as you get it and open up the package, you can start experiencing results. I've been dropping one to three pounds a day. Yes, I said that, a day. 
No. You need to go to the doctor. Dude, that's not, <laughs> that is very rapid weight loss. Healthy weight loss is considered one to two pounds a week. So if she's really losing one to three pounds a day, like she says she is, I doubt she is. But if she says she's losing one to three pounds a day, that's too much weight loss. If you're losing weight at a rate of one to three pounds per day, you need a medical doctor. Not only does it curb your cravings, it actually works to fight back against your insulin resistance issues. What? Hello, all you ladies suffering with PCOS. This is what you need. Oh my god! It's gosh. like an answered prayer. It's a multi-benefit, instant impact type product. So click the link in my bio, or you can go to darylin.com and look for Cravens Crusher. This is disposable, rechargeable, and 100% worth your money. I wouldn't be talking about it if it wasn't. Uh, I feel like you were only talking about it because you clearly have some kind of collaboration or partnership going with them. Click the link in my bio, come on. I have one more that I wanna take a look at. And the last one is actually also from this person's page because I was very intrigued when I saw that, when I saw that one, that last one we just saw. What did she call it? Like a weight, it was like weight loss vape or something like that. Like, I feel like this is something that I also need to dedicate a video to. Like this sounds very interesting. Again, you guys, this is like, like this video is unscripted, everything is off the cuff and I'm kind of going off the top of my head right now, but I thought that vaping was pretty harmful for your health, but she's over here saying that it can help with insulin resistance, calling out people with PCOS, which is a common chronic condition, which um, tends to uh, impact the hormones. PCOS is something that I've noticed is a, something that's often exploited in social media, like every influencer, every health and wellness influencer swears they have the cure to PCOS. There's no cure for PCOS. So let's watch this last one. This is the same girl and she's answering another question. Y'all, I went viral yesterday with this vape and I was not expecting it at all. I have so many comments on the original video that's just like this. As much as I vape and need to lose weight, this would be great. So I just wanna kind of break down what the vape is and why you need it. So this brand reached out to me and offered me to try this vape. Uh, because I struggle with PCOS, I struggle with weight loss problems. I struggle with cravings for terrible food that I really shouldn't eat. This is something that's newly discovered. It comes from a plant. It is a cannabinoid. It's called a lemon squeezy cravings crusher. And basically you just take a couple puffs a day. She just said that it comes from a plant. The vape comes from a plant. Okay, I know what she probably meant by that. And what she probably meant is the ingredient comes from a plant, but. When you feel like you need it and within like five to 10 minutes, the cravings are gone. It does taste like lemon. It's disposable. And there's about 500 puffs in each vape from what I'm understanding. Oh, and it's rechargeable. I think this is helping to my weight loss journey so much. And there's so many other people who are experiencing benefits too. So go to my link in bio or Daryl. Link in her bio again. This seems like something I may need to, I want to, I want to look more into. I want to do more research on. I had not heard of this before I started, like just randomly sat down and compiled some videos for this video that you're watching right now. Have any of you guys heard of this? The weight loss vape? I have never heard of it. I'm also, I gotta say, I feel some type of way that it's lemon flavored. Like, I don't know how I feel about that. I feel like they're tarnishing the good name of lemons. My guess is that this thing kind of indirectly causes weight loss because I don't know this for sure. I haven't researched it. I don't even know what the product's called. But my guess is that it probably is has um, appetite suppressing components in it. I think she said there's no nicotine in it, which is interesting because nicotine, we all know the drug nicotine that's present in cigarettes. Nicotine is actually a pretty powerful appetite suppressant. A lot of people I have known in the past who um, are heavy smokers are really, really skinny. And that's not that surprising because nicotine is a pretty powerful appetite suppressant. So I wonder... I wonder what's in this that makes it, assuming it works the way I think it works in terms of like suppressing one's appetite. I wonder what's in this, like what components in this actually actually do that. Yeah, so it looks like I have more stuff I have to look into. Um, the uh, colostrum and then this uh, weight loss vape thing. Those two things are on my list now. All right, well, that was that. That was just a fun little short video. That actually, this was shorter than I was expecting it to be, which is weird because when I don't have a script, I usually ramble. So I think next time I do this, I'll probably get more. Um, I'll probably collect more videos to react to so that the video is a little bit longer because I know people in general just like longer videos. The algorithm likes longer videos, so. And also some good came out of this too because now I have more things that I wanna research and look into. All right, well, 
If you made it to the end of this video, thank you so very much for watching. I really appreciate it. If you enjoyed it, hit the like button. If you want to see more content similar to this, hit the subscribe button and join us over here on the Lemonade Stand. Thank you once again for watching, and I will see you in the next one. Queen Lemon, over and out. Where are all my dogs at? The light comes in here. Huh? They're out here. Mm. Here's my dogs, and here's my husband with his shoes on the bed. Mm-hmm. What we do is my break, my lunch break. Yeah, this is not about you, it's about Zeus. Hey Zeus, so handsome.